Hey everybody, welcome back. This is an original numbers matching Survivor 69 Z28 that a gentleman contacted me through the YouTube, my YouTube channel, and uh, he lives nearby and he just bought this car and he brought it to my shop to uh, for us to do a restoration on the car. And as you can see, it's got extensive damage. Uh, looking at the car, we found uh, wood chips and drywall embedded in the damage. So my theory is the car uh, broadsided a corner of a house or something. But uh, as you can see, it's got pretty extensive damage right there. And uh, this video here is just kind of an introduction video of the car. And hopefully we're going to have a whole lot of videos coming up during the restoration of this car. So it's starting out, I'm starting out here with a little introductory uh, video and here's the car being delivered to our shop and I'm just going to kind of let the camera tell the story here, but uh, the car really looks a lot worse than it really is. I, I mean, believe it or not, it still rolls and you can still steer it with the steering wheel. And so structurally, uh, mechanically, I think the car is intact, but uh, body-wise, of course, we're, go we're gonna have some extensive work to do, but I, I think the car is well worth trying to save it. Like I had mentioned, it's an original paint, original untouched Survivor Z28, all numbers matching. Even the wheels are the original, uh, date coded correct now the engine that's in the car right now is not the DZ block the DZ block is in the trunk but uh, the heads are all original and and coded correctly and uh, the car needs some rust repair the bottom of the car is in remarkably good condition it was all undercoated but the uh, quarter panels are gonna have to be replaced because they have some rust and then obviously, you know, the damage uh, panels are going to have to be replaced. But as you can see here, it's all original paint. It's never been painted. It's really a shame that the car was involved in the crash because this would have been a, a really good survivor car that I would not have restored. I would have left it the way it is. But that's the original cow hood right there with the uh, original date code on it that matches the car. So we're going to try to save that hood. And it's an original X77 D80 car. It's a uh, June of 69 build date. And it's got the original heads on it original deep pulley, deep group pulleys. And I'm gonna focus in on the cow tag here. You can barely see it, but it's X77 D80. I believe that's the original intake. And the original carburetor is with the car but as you can see it's uh, it's got a big boo-boo on it so and believe it or not with this extensive damage here the seats are in perfect condition the, the driver's seat did not even get damaged at all I just feel sorry for the guy sitting in it <laughs> And walk around to the trunk here and I'll show you the original DZ block in the trunk. And there's the original numbers matching DZ block. I checked the numbers and they're all matching. It's the original trunk lid. The trunk pan's going to have to be replaced. It's got some rust in it. There's the original VIN number on the block.
So we're going to be doing the initial disassembly of it so that we can get the car ready to put on the lift and we can remove uh, the, the suspension and the interior and so on. But the first thing we have to do is get all of the uh, damaged body panels off the car. And as you can see here, we started with the door, which we literally had to just cut off the car because the damage was so severe. It just was smashed to the point where we couldn't unbolt it uh, like you normally would. Um, and I'm showing drywall and old wood here from, from what I think the car hit the corner of a house, believe it or not, because we found old house wood and drywall embedded in the, in the damage. So uh, if anyone is familiar with this car, maybe they know what happened to it. But anyway, as the rest of the panels that we're removing here, um, you know, I insisted that we unbolt everything rather than cut it off, which is what the normal reaction would be, is to cut all the panels off. But, and in this case, we're removing the hood, which we're going to uh, repair because that's the original cow hood to the car. It's got the correct day code on it and so on. It was installed from the factory because this is a D80 car, which means that it came with the cow hood and the spoiler. So uh, here we're continuing to remove all the parts and pieces that are damaged. And here in a minute, you're gonna see where we cut the A-pillar of the car, which uh, you can see the top is, is kind of lifted up there on the corner. And when we actually cut the A-pillar, the, the, the top dropped down a good two or three inches, almost back to where it should be. And uh, so I think the top is, is going to be fine. Uh, it has no buckles or damage in it at all because the A-pillar broke away from the top right there where it hit, where it meets the top. Uh, and you'll see that here coming up. But uh, uh, so he's starting to cut the A-pillar at this point. And if you watch closely, you can see the whole top just drop right down, almost back to where it should be. So I'll just let the video run here and you'll see what I mean. Once he got cut through there, he had to kind of hit it with a sledgehammer to, to get it separated apart there, which is kind of hard to watch, but uh, that's what was necessary to get it separated there because it is just so tight right there. So he's going to hit it here, and you'll see the whole top just drop right down. He's just going to tap it here one more time, and you'll see it drop. So as you can see there, the the uh, the top is almost back down to where it should be now. So that's a good thing. So then we just continue taking parts and pieces off here. And uh, like I mentioned before, you know, I insisted that everything be unbolted properly so that uh, we don't do any more damage to some of the parts and pieces that uh, we can save. And here I'm removing the front bumper, which was undamaged. The grill was undamaged. The lower valance was undamaged. And uh, the header panel is damaged, so that's probably going to be replaced. And the passenger side fender is undamaged, but it's got rust in it. So we're going to replace both front fenders on the car. So it's kind of a long, tedious process, but but we're trying to get, like I'd mentioned, the whole front end of the car apart so that we can get the car up on the lift and remove the subframe in the front, subframe and engine, and then the, uh, the rear end. And then we can get the car down to the point where we can start doing the body work on it. And once we got all of these panels off, 
you know the car looked a lot better I mean it, it, it looks a lot you can see that the wheelbase itself is really not that far off um, the subframe is for all that I can see so far anyway the subframe is undamaged it just got moved over a little bit and so hopefully it's straight that you know but we're gonna check that of course So at this point, uh, getting the front driver's side fender off, again, was quite a task. I mean, we worked for a good hour trying to get the thing loose from the rest of the damage. And uh, again, I did not want to cut it off the car. I just wanted to unbolt everything properly. So now the car is ready. Uh, we've got all the front end and panels and door and all that off the car. And, and again, it's in my opinion, it's looking a lot better. It, you know, the damage looks a lot worse than it really is. It is all fixable as bad as it is. But now the car is ready to move over to the, to the lift. And you can see all the damaged parts and pieces here. So in this scene, I'm removing the heater box from the firewall. Uh, I just wanted to reveal all of the uh, hidden VIN numbers on the car. And the VIN, the hidden VIN that was under the ta cowl is, is okay, but it wasn't stamped very well. About half of it's missing, but here under the heater box, it's, uh, it had a really good stamp and it's very clear. And here I'm holding the VIN tag up to compare the numbers. So now we've moved the car over to the lift now and it's ready to remove the subframe and the rear end and then uh, then we'll pull the interior out and then start doing all the body work. So, so that's going to be uh, on the next video. And uh, in the meantime, this is the end of this video. And again, as usual, thank you so much for watching. And please like, share, and subscribe, and push the bell for future video notifications. And uh, so you can keep track of this restoration. So again, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.